Hi there, my name is Dr Ben Sinclair and I am a Functional Medicine GP working for Dr Finley's private practice. My video today is about Long Covid and I've had some experience of this personally because last year I had a almost a year of really nasty symptoms as a result of getting Covid back in December 2020. And this video is hopefully to give you some ideas of how you might help yourself or those around you with uh, some of the symptoms of long COVID and what you can do. So the theory with long COVID is that the virus has caused an inflammatory reaction in your body um, and it's creating problems with different systems. So the blood system seems to be having a problem with stickiness where the blood's getting more sticky and causing these little uh, micro clots to fly around. So any blood supply is affected and that means the lungs, the brain, the heart, any organ can be compromised and can malfunction. So um, for this we need to make sure that we're um, not missing anything serious and then think about how we can try and safely um, reduce this micro clotting event. And with my background in functional medicine there are some um, herbal things and some medical things that we can try and I'd be more than happy to talk to you about them um, should you choose to have a consultation. Um, the second way in which the um, systems are compromised is uh, with the allergy system which is normally defensive and to uh, fend off um, any sort of um, a foreign antigen that might um, enter your system, your body tends to create a reaction to swell up or to flush out that antigen. And the problem with that is that in some people who have allergies, these um, can be quite overreactive. And those people with overreactive allergy systems seem to be more long COVID sufferers. So apparently they're about 5,000 times more likely to get long COVID than the average person. And that means that their system has this uh, very um, hyperreactive response to COVID and as a result produces too much histamine. So what we need to do is dampen down histamine system and we also need to try and block the slower release um, allergy system um, which can produce a delayed hypersensitivity reaction. Now if you've got too much histamine uh, you tend to get um, uh, irritable, restless feeling, sometimes your guts can be upset, sometimes you have rashes or feel itchy or maybe even hives somewhere on your body, sometimes uh, you may find yourself feeling anxious or nervous or restless for a particularly um, non-specific reason with no thinking behind that when you haven't previously been a particularly restless person. This often tends to be worse at night and often interferes with sleep giving you broken and bitty sleep initially until you begin to dampen down and uh, histamine. So um, we want to make sure those two systems are targeted and there's a couple of medicines and um, a couple of dietary things we can do. Now we also need to remember that um, exercise can release histamine when you're already in a high histamine state so we want to try and avoid exercise in the short term with long COVID to increase your chances of recovering. And just to say there is hope, people are recovering left, right and centre with this sort of advice. Um, I myself have made a pretty much full recovery and I'm back to exercising and back working full time now. I have to be more careful and I'm um, just ironing out some of the kinks in my system um, which I've identified that, that um, maybe as a result of uh, or unmasked as a result of having had COVID. One other thing that's a, a biggie is um, sugar, which is an inflammatory agent in our in our diets. Um, and alongside that is also gluten, which is another inflammatory agent in our diets. And so if we can reduce inflammation in the gut itself, we generally find that the rest of the system begins to settle down and inflammation can reduce. And that means we're going to have less brain fog, um, less muscle aches, um, usually less stomach upset, less acid reflux and less loose motions and that kind of thing as well. So there's a number of systems here we need to target um, and I've been having some interesting results seeing a range of patients from um, teenagers through to um, adults and older people and um, with this functional approach we're seeing some really positive results with people slowly getting better and some getting quickly better um, but in general um, we're finding that there's an upward trajectory um, towards a full recovery and we mustn't forget there's other uh, things we need to rule out so if you haven't been um, seen by your GP think about asking for some, some basic blood tests including vitamin D and thyroid 
iron metabolism, magnesium if you're feeling particularly tired and fatigued, and also um, think about um, investigating any, any neurological symptoms, any nerve symptoms that might be occurring to make sure there's nothing serious going on behind these. And once we've ruled them out, we can usually then explore um, a diagnosis of uh, long COVID and working through how we can um, help a recovery with that. So um, if you want to see me, I'm online at drfinleys.co.uk um, or you can call us on 0121 396 1323. I'd be more than happy to have a, a quick five minute chat with you to see if we uh, think we can help. And um, if we can't, we'll definitely say so and we'll try and recommend someone who can. Uh, but if we can help, we'd love to, to work with you either face to face in our clinics in Birmingham or online um, wherever you are in the UK. I hope this has been a helpful video. Uh, my name's Dr. Ben Sinclair with Dr. Finley's Private Practice and I look forward to seeing you soon. Watch out for my blog and more videos to come. Thanks for watching.